Hello students, here we will going to discuss the solution of the given question. Uh, this question is taken from the class 12 physics board exam question paper. Okay. So this question belongs to the question paper having the series number that is I will write here the series number of the question paper. So it will be easier for you to refer that it is RQ SP 414. Okay. And the question paper code question paper code is given as 2155543 means it is a set 3 it is a set it is a set 3 okay so this question is from the set 3 and the question number of this question is 32b okay so 32a uh, was in or okay so uh, that was related with the ray optics I have taken the question of the wave optics so here we will going to see the solution of this question now I will not going to tell you the theoretic answer of the theoretical question because you can see that differentiate between the wave prints and the ray it is a simple one what is the wave print we know that it is a location or locus of the different different points from which we assume that the different wavelets emerging or we can see uh, producing uh, then what is the ray ray is a path of a light we know that then second question is a state Huygens principle and then verify law of reflection using the suitable diagram so again it is a prove prove that question that is usually asked every year okay in an alternate manner means if in one year if it is for the reflection then in the another year it will be for the refraction and it goes on so here basically we will going to see the solution of the third question that is a numerical based question now what is given here in the angst double slit experiment the slit s1 and s2 are 3 mm s1 and s2 are 3 mm apart so i will write here the given that is the distance between the two slits is 3 mm so i will convert it into the si unit that is 3 into 10 to the power minus 3 meter and the screen is placed 1 meter away from the slits now the distance of a screen from the slit that is given as a capital d that is 1 meter it is observed that the fourth bright fringe bright means maxima okay so fourth bright fringe is at a distance 5 mm from the second dark fringe so we have given that the fourth bright fringe so i will write here x4 is at a distance 5 mm from the second dark fringe is at a distance 5 mm from 5 mm from the second dark fringe now in the interference pattern we know that we get the successive band of the dark um, we get the successive band of the central maxima then uh, dark band then again the bright band then again dark fringe then again again bright fringe now um, from the given question fourth bright fringe will be obviously um, on the upper level than the second dark fringe okay so uh, for dark i will write here the x dash now it is a second dark so i will write here x dash now i will add the plus 5 mm distance there why i am adding because i know that the position of the x4 will be at a higher level than the x2 dash because it is a second dark fringe now i have given this solution i have given this relation i will give it equation number one and what way to find out then wavelength of a light let the wavelength of a light be lambda we have to find out this okay now we will go further so i will going to explain you in an easier manner so it will be helpful for you to get the answer of this question i have seen that lots of the people going to find out the difficulties to solve the question based on the angst double slit experiment okay uh, so because of that i have genuinely taken this question here we know that for a bright fringe for a bright fringe we usually write n lambda d upon d that is a basic formula now it is a bright fringe what is for a dark fringe i will write x dash and it is 2n minus 1 lambda d upon 2d yes so i will going to use this formula here so it will become n lambda d upon d and then on the another side i will write here 2n minus 1 lambda d upon 2d upon 2d plus 5 mm okay now it is a 5 mm i will put the value 2 it is a fourth fringe so i will write here 4 lambda d d this will be 
फोर लैमडा डी बाई डी इक्वल टू नाउ टू सो वट इज दैट दैट इज अ सेकंड डार्क फ्रेन सो इट विल बिकम फोर माइनस वन लैमडा डी अपॉन डी ओके प्लस फाइव एम एम सो आई विल राइट हियर फाइव इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस थ्री मीटर देन इट विल बी फोर लैमडा डी इक्वल टू थ्री लैमडा डी फाइव टू डी प्लस फाइव इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस थ्री सो दिस विल बी फाइव इंटू टेन टू द पावर माइनस थ्री नाउ आई हैव टू कैलकुलेट द लैमडा सो आई विल मेक टूगेदर ऑल द टर्म्स इन विच द लैमडा इज इंक्लूडेड सो आई विल राइट हियर फोर लैमडा डी अपॉन डी माइनस थ्री लैमडा डी अपॉन टू डी एंड आई विल सॉल्व इट फर्दर सो टू डी विल बी द एल सी एम हियर सो आई विल राइट हियर एट लैमडा डी माइनस थ्री लैमडा डी ओके सो इट विल बी कम फाइव इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस थ्री इक्वल टू फाइव लैमडा डी अपॉन टू डी देर फोर गोइंग टू पुट द वैल्यूज हियर सो इट विल बी कम लैमडा इक्वल टू फाइव इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस थ्री मल्टीप्लाइड बाई टू मल्टीप्लाइड बाई थ्री इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस थ्री फाइव बिकॉज द वैल्यू ऑफ स्मॉल डी इज गिवन दैट इज थ्री इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस थ्री देन फाइव मल्टीप्लाइड बाई वन मीटर बिकॉज कैपिटल डी इज वन सो फाइव फाइव विल गेट डिवाइडेड सो इट विल बी कम सिक्स इंटू टेन टू पावर माइनस सिक्स मीटर और वी कैन सिंपली एड थ्री जीरोज हियर सो इट विल बी कम टेन टू द पावर माइनस नाइन लैमडा और सिंपली आई कैन से वैल्यू ऑफ लैमडा इज सिक्स थाउजेंड नैनो मीटर दैट विल बी योर फाइनल आंसर सो इन दिस वी कैन सॉल्व दिस क्वेश्चन वेरी इजिली बाई यूजिंग द सिंपल बेसिक कंसेप्ट ऑफ द इंटरफेरेंस पैटर्न इन दैट केस वी शुड नो वट इज द फॉर्मूला फॉर द ब्राइट फ्रिंज मीन्स पोजिशन ऑफ ब्राइट फ्रिंज from the central maxima and the position of dark fringe from the central maxima so i hope that uh, you got this solution if you like this video then you must subscribe this channel and share this video solution to others also so that other students will going to get the help from this solution again we will going to see some questions in the subsequent videos thank you thank you so much